All right, just in case you can't figure out how this works, Slap Me Mobiles, there's three levels. Master will be the most difficult. Puzzler will be the medium level. Explorer will be the simplest level. Couple things that you can note. Right? If there's a number at the top of your mobile, it means that all of the shapes below add up to that number. Okay, so trapezoid plus trapezoid plus moon shape add up to eight. These bars represent balance, so it means that the sum of these two trapezoids is the same as the sum or as the as the size of the moon. If you look at this right here, one of the easier ones, 2 plus 2 is 4. These have to be balanced. The moon is supposed to be 4. And together they add up to 8. But if you would put a wrong answer in, like that, you'll see this unbalancing happen. The moon is too heavy. Okay, so it'll give you some clues as to whether you've chosen a number that's too big or too small if you're having trouble reasoning out the situation. You can enter negative numbers, and you can see that's balanced the wrong way. Negative 5 makes the moon too light, right? You cannot put decimals in, all right? See, my, my decimal point is disappearing, but you can use fractions if you need to. Four-fifths, okay, is a valid answer. Um, not for this question, but maybe for another one, all right? Another thing that can be done is you can drag the number off to the side and this will form an equation for you. All right, show what the mobile would look like if it was written in equation form. Two times these things plus one of those things equals eight. And you can also drag individual bars off to the side to see what they look like in equation form. Two times trapezoid equals two trapezoids are balanced with a moon. When you've got these off to the side, you can do stuff like this. Let me let me drag another one of these over here because I want to use it in two different ways. Okay, moon equals moon. I'm gonna. I'm going to I'm going to drag I want to click this individual moon piece, all right? And line it up with the other moon. Okay? And what it's going to do is a substitution. It's going to replace the moon with what is the moon equal to, all right? Which is two of these combined with the other two of them, four of these add up to eight. Now we already knew that, okay? Trapezoid equals 2, so 2 times 4 is 8, so that wasn't very helpful. But the other thing that we could do is uh, take this one here, two of these, line up with those two, replace them with a moon. My moons are going to combine together, all right, 2 moons equals 8. So there's lots of different ways that you could play around with this to come up with answers. You will know if you're right or not when you hit the submit button. Uh, you get that little sound and you get the stars if you're right. I prefer to use this pencil down here instead of pulling there the bars to the side to have them do equations for me. I like to come up with the equations myself. So these guys right here that are in the center of a bar, uh, that's that's an interesting concept. Um, they're not they're not tilting this bar either way, so they could almost be anything. But we've got eighty right now. That means everything below here needs to be forty on each side and since these guys are balanced but there's extra stuff in the middle I actually don't know what those two sides have to add up to I just know that they're equal to each other 
Uh, but on this one, I do know that both halves add up to 20. And that's going to give me two of my shape values, right? Because uh, if I scratch moon out and I scratch one diamond out, I see that two moons balance with one diamond. All right, two moons equals one diamond. Ah. Okay, now, I want the total to be 20, so if I replace each of these diamonds with two moons, I will have five moons equal to 20, and that means a moon must equal four. If a moon equals four, then a diamond must equal eight. So, if a moon equals four and a diamond equals eight, that means that together this is 12. That balances with these three, which together should be 12. Let me just double check this total. 12, 12, and 16 is 24 plus 16 is 40. I think we're good. Anyway, that's how I like to do my reasoning. If you are a puzzler, you might also prefer to reason that way. If you're able to screen capture, video screen capture, you can just turn that in as your reasoning rather than typing. Or the other thing that you could do is have a camera uh, another device set up to record your screen while you talk out your thinking. That would be the way that I prefer to see your answer. But if you don't have the technology to set up, set up to do that, you can describe your thinking in written format. You are going to have to at least take a screenshot of your final, final screen. So I'll show you how to do that in a different video.